Hello everyone, P from 41 here. So this is a 2009 Mazda CX-7 and we're having an issue with the airbag light flashing and then staying on. It's an intermittent problem. Luckily it's doing it right now. Now when the airbag light flashes, what it's actually doing is flashing out codes and we're getting a code 18. So I'll show you what it's doing. So I'm going to turn the key on. Now the airbag light should come on and then after a time it should go back off. Now what it's going to do is flash. So we got one flash. Now it's going to flash eight times. Now it's going to repeat that process again. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's going to do that a couple times and then the light will just stay on. Now code 18 is for the pad light, which is the passenger airbag deactivation light, which is right here. And this illuminates to tell you that the passenger airbag has been deactivated. Now if we turn it on, you'll notice, oh, now it's on. It's supposed to come on when you first turn the car on. And of course, since it's intermittent, now it's gonna make me look bad. So it's decided to start working again since I have the camera rolling. And because everything's working again, our airbag light has gone off as well since it detects that everything's working. But I know from experience, it's not gonna stay that way. It's done this several times and it will happen again. Uh, what I suspect is happening is we might have some cold solder joints or a poor connection in the circuit board up here because this is an LED powered light. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pull it apart and check that out. Unfortunately, we got to pull like a lot of this apart, I think, to get to all that. So big, big thanks, Mazda. But let's get on with it. Okay, so it's actually pretty easy to get to this. I removed the radio bezel, just pry up from the bottom and then work your way to the top. Now this unit here is called the information center. It contains the passenger airbag deactivation lamp. It's just held in with three screws, which I've already removed. And side note, the light is no longer coming on and the airbag light's gonna start flashing again because like I said, intermittent problem. So to get this out, you just need to pop it out like so. And I'm going to need two hands to unplug it, but we'll disconnect this, bring it inside, and see what's going on. Okay, we got our info center on the bench. So there's three screws we're going to remove in the back here. And we got two more in the front. Now you can see here, there is the LED for our passenger airbag deactivation lamp. And there's a connector right here. We're just going to gently pull that apart. Okay, so I actually took this thing all the way down and I re-soldered the actual LED itself, which probably wasn't really necessary, but I did it anyway. Uh, that is quite risky though, to take it all the way down that far without breaking anything. Uh, the other thing I did is I did resolder this resistor right here, which the joints looked a little bit iffy on that. It's all back together now. I did try it and it is working. So now we're just going to go ahead and reassemble everything. set that in there and then two screws and 
And that's it. There you go back in. So we'll plug this in. I want to push straight back and then lift up. Now we'll put the three screws back in. We'll give it a test, make sure it works. And it does. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall the radio bezel. So we'll try it out now. And we've got our light coming on and our airbag light should switch off and there it goes so we're good to go of course this is an intermittent problem so only time will tell if it's fixed for good but that's all for this video hopefully this helped you out if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below